Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for watching today. Today we are back and today we're going to be talking all about Sonic the Hedgehog 2, the movie that just hit theaters and I was able to catch it. I actually just got back from it and hopefully by the time you're seeing this, some of you guys have seen it as well. So we're going to be talking all about the movie, my thoughts on to give my review, but we're also going to be taking a look at some of the Sonic the Hedgehog Funko Pops that I have in my collection and also kind of mention some of the other pops that I hope to someday have in my collection. And I am a big Sonic the Hedgehog fan, played the games as a kid and really, really nostalgic for me. And when they made that first Sonic the Hedgehog movie, I was definitely excited for it, but I was expecting it not to be very good, but it completely blew away my expectations. I absolutely loved it. And now we're coming into Sonic the Hedgehog 2, and they were able to build on top of that, add in more characters like Knuckles and Tails. And I was just so excited for it, having the return of Dr. Robotnik, played by Jim Carrey, who was a standout in the first movie. And then, of course, we get Ben Schwartz back as Sonic. He had all the, the recipe and all the pieces to come back and make an even better sequel. But I was really, really excited to see what they can do in this one. And I have to say, this movie blew away my expectations. It was such a delight, so much fun, so much humor injected in this, so much fun life into this movie. I really, really did enjoy it. It embraced a little bit of that silliness, because at the end of the day, it is a kid's movie. It's based on a video game character, so you gotta have a little bit of silliness. I mean, it's a magical hedgehog and a, and a fox that can fly with its two tails and a giant you know, as they call it in the movie and in the trailers, a space porcupine with knuckles that can punch really hard. Like, these are silly characters, so embrace that a little bit. Of course, Jim Carrey brings a lot of that silliness too. So overall, I really, really like the movie, and I'll get into more of my thoughts as we go through and take a look at the Fungal Pops that I have in my collection and talk about some of the other pops they have out there for the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise. Going all the way back, I think the first ones released like 2012, 2013, all the way until just this year we got another sonic the hedgehog pop so definitely lots of pops to look at and hopefully a lot more to come now before we get into taking a look at those pop talk a little bit more about the movie i do want to leave this as a reminder for you guys if you are new to the channel make sure you go down below and hit that subscribe button we are getting very close to 2,000 subscribers so that's definitely the goal to hit that and if you guys like you know, Funko Pops, of course, movies. We do movie reviews and Funko Pop reviews all the time here on the channel. And you can hit that bell to be notified whenever we have new videos. And of course, leave a like on the video as well. It does make a massive difference. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the first Funko that I have in my collection. It's not a Funko Pop actually that we're looking to look at. It's actually a Funko Soda for Sonic the Hedgehog. And this is of Sonic himself. Now this is actually the common soda. And I got this soda back in, I think, I wanna say 2020. In late 2020, I picked this up from a comic book shop and I was unfortunately not able to get the chase. The chase is flocked, which I absolutely would have loved, but this is one of my favorite sodas still to this date. I have it sitting on my desk, so as I work during the day, I can see Sonic right there. This is definitely a great character, cool pose, and of course you have his uh, spikes there on the back too. So this is a classic Sonic pose classic sonic look and i really do like this one a lot and this was one of my first sonic funko items now getting into the actual funko pops that i have uh this pop was actually i think it was the first sonic funko pop that i got for my collection it was a gift for christmas and i absolutely love this it's one of my favorites and right now it's the most value one of the most valuable funko pops i have in my collection right now honestly this is the classic flocked sonic from the Funko shop and this pop is so dang cool. It is based on the video game, not on the actual movie. Really, really awesome pop here. It is flocked as you can see. Uh, it's actually Sonic running. So you have his shoes where you have the red swirl underneath them, which actually looks like an eight figure. It actually works as a little bit of a stand as well. It is such a well done figure. I like how the eyes are kind of that kind of classic look for Funko Pops, a little bit of an older sculpt to it, slightly, but a little bit more update with some of the details on his body. I really, really do enjoy this pop a lot, and I always loved the flocked Funko Pops, so this one's definitely one of my favorites. And in Sonic the Hedgehog 2, of course, Sonic brings it again. Ben Schwartz brings so much 
character and charisma to Sonic. It is so much fun and his powers are trying to level up just a little bit. He learns how to use his powers a little bit more in this movie. Of course, he still makes mistakes. He still falls into some traps and uh, and puts his family and friends in danger. And I really like the character arc they put Sonic through in this movie. It was a lot of fun and it just made me fall more in love with the Sonic character. Now, another character that shows up in Sonic the Hedgehog 2 and this one you can also tell from the title it's actually a little hint at this character in the title we have tails miles prower otherwise known as tails really great character and i really did love seeing tails in this movie of course at the end of sonic the hedgehog 1 we see the post credit scene tails comes through a portal and says i hope it's not too late and then it kind of picks up with tails coming through and actually shows that scene again a little bit more extended in this movie and the fact they brought back the original voice actress back from the 90s and early 2000s games for tales in this movie was really really cool to see it was really really great the dynamic that they had between the two of them both gave a little bit quips back and forth as well it was really a lot of fun and tales has so many gadgets and gizmos it was really cool to see and really just expanded the universe a little bit more but this pop did come out for target con back in 2021 and I remember when it was our first announced like very very beginning of 2021 that this was coming and I was so so stoked that we were going to be finally getting a Tails Pop uh, again because the first one was like $350 I was like okay no way I'm getting that original Tails Pop and we'll talk a little bit more about those original Funko Pops a little bit later but I was so excited we were getting this and then plus it was Flock so being able to follow up the Sonic Flock Pop with this flock pop was even better and it does look really nice i love the color of the fur that orange and then even like kind of the white whiskers in the front looks great and the two tails coming out the back where they kind of split off four tails that looks absolutely fantastic and they really did make tails look great in this movie as well make them look fluffy a little bit smaller than sonic and the flying in the movie is look does look really good i definitely am impressed by the cgi on the characters themselves in this movie and then the character i think most people were so excited to see that was going to be coming in for sonic the Hedgehog 2 was going to be knuckles and we were actually able to get a knuckles funko pop for this year's target con exclusive the target and this one is also a flocked Pop. and this one is really awesome really great that they actually went straight from the design from the games and really looks very similar to how he does in the movie as well uh, just has different shoes in the movie but pretty much everything else looks exactly the same I really do like this a lot you have that red fur that red flock all the way down and then with his hands of course the spiky knuckles on the end of course that's how he gets his name he definitely does look really great and even with the eyes i do like how they have that kind of classic look looking like a little bit more like the classic sonic look as well and this is definitely one of my favorite game slash animation pops that i have in the entire collection and Idris elba really did bring a lot to this character it was at first a little bit more single note a little bit more of I'm just gonna be stopping you, I wanna destroy you, I have my mission, I'm gonna go towards that mission. But throughout, you actually get to see a little bit more of his side, you actually get to learn a little bit about his past as well, and his motivations. And as you start to learn more about him, you really did start to like him, and then by the end of the movie, you came full circle, and it, I think pretty much the last like 10 minutes of the movie, he became like everybody's favorite character right next to Sonic. It was definitely really great to see Knuckles show up in this movie now a character that did not show up in the sonic the hedgehog 2 but i do have a fungal pop up in the collection is going to be silver and this one is actually the hot topic exclusive glow in the dark version and the glow on this is actually really impressive i'm actually very happy we we're also able to get the silver as well i remember when it came out i was looking everywhere for it and i couldn't find it any of my hot topics and then finally it dropped like two, three weeks after other people got it and i was on the hunt for it for quite a while I went to a lot of different hot topics before i was finally able to find it weeks later but i was definitely happy to get this one here i do really like the design of him kind of have like the blue rings on the bottom that's able to use his powers there a little bit of that fur in the middle of his 
chest does look really, really cool and he does look a little translucent as well of course setting him up to be a great glow in the dark figure speaking of you could see here him glowing in the dark it does look really great kind of like that whitish silver type of look of course he is silver so he should be silver but it's a little bit more white on that and it does really glow well it doesn't glow super strong long lasting but at first it definitely does look awesome. So there's our look at the Sonic the Hedgehog Funko Pops that I do have in my collection. It was awesome to be able to show these off and talk a little bit about my thoughts of these characters in the movie, except for Silver, he's not in there quite yet, he's not in there. Uh, but we of course do have some other Sonic related Funko Pops that have been released. So I know that they already have some older ones, like I said, they actually did release original ones for Sonic, for Tails, and also for Knuckles. And you can see here, they are definitely that very old looking Funko Pop. Like I said, I think they came out like 2012, 2013. They're all valued at like two, three, four hundred dollars So there's probably very unlikely that I'm gonna be able to get them unless they end up showing up at a comic book shop and I can trade in a bunch of pops to get those. Then I would definitely jump all over it. But otherwise, I probably will not be shelling out those two, three hundred dollars for those figures. And they're only going to be going up from here, most likely, especially with the new movie. A lot of people want to get those very, very rare figures that were released, you know, almost 10 years ago. And then I think they put out another wave around like 2015 or something like that. That one we saw Dr. Eggman, which is the Dr. Robotnik. That was actually a really great pop. That one has gone up in value recently as well. I think it's up to like. $40, $35, $40, something like that. That would be an awesome one to get. They also released some other Sonic ones like Sonic with Ring, Sonic with Emerald, a Metallic Sonic, and I think they also released a Glow in the Dark Sonic to, I think it was an exclusive to Toys or Us. That one I would absolutely love to have gotten. And then I think in 2018, they ended up releasing a convention exclusive, a few different convention exclusives. I know one of them was super silver and super tails that was shared with gamestop but i know for sure the biggest grail out of any sonic funko pop was a super shadow e3 exclusive funko pop that one i think is valued up at like six to seven hundred dollars absolutely crazy awesome awesome figure that would be a great one to get but they do have some other shadow figures as well. Uh, one that actually did order already, I uh, should be coming in this summer from Entertainment Earth, is this shadow. I really do like that figure a lot. Can't wait to add it to my collection. And then they also did release a Hot Topic exclusive version of Shadow as well. So they have a lot of different Sonic the Hedgehog Funko Pops and we could definitely see more going forward. I can definitely see them putting out maybe some more of these guys as well. Maybe just different poses and them being more action based. Maybe another Shadow. Maybe another Dr. Robotnik slash Eggman. Who knows what they could put out. It's just endless characters from what is it like eight, nine, ten different Sonic games officially. Plus all like the mini games and spin off things that they have done on all the different consoles. There are so many different characters they can bring in. And I'm really excited for not only these pop, but also for our future movies and TV shows that we're gonna be getting from the Sonic the Hedgehog universe because Paramount actually announced earlier this year that they're already working on Sonic the Hedgehog 3, which I was so excited to hear about. And they're also gonna be giving us a Knuckles spin-off TV series. So this guy right here is gonna be getting his own TV series on Paramount Plus. I'm definitely excited for that. I actually recently got Paramount Plus because they have all these other shows that I wanted to catch up on like Halo and Rugrats and some of the other shows and I know that they have like the offer coming up later this month too. So if they're gonna have Sonic the Hedgehog and they're going to have Knuckles on there, I'm definitely gonna continue to watch because I absolutely love this universe and I love these characters so much. And again, I really did enjoy Sonic the Hedgehog 2. So if you have not seen it yet, definitely recommend you go out and watch it. If you're looking for just a fun movie that's gonna put a smile on your face, I think it's just about two hours or just under that. It will definitely leave you grinning from ear to ear and you're going to enjoy the experience for sure. And then of course at the end, if you're like me, it will make you want to go home and look at Sonic the Hedgehog Funko Pops and see if you can pick up any more to add to your collection. And so with that being said, I do want to hear from you guys. One, have you seen Sonic the Hedgehog 2? What are your thoughts on the movie? Did you like it? Did you not like it? What were your thoughts on it? 
And also, what Sonic the Hedgehog Funko Pops do you have in your collection? Do you have any of these? Do you have any of those grails that I talked about? Because if so, I'd be jealous. And of course, if you guys can, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also hit that bell to be notified for future videos. And thank you guys so much for watching today. And as always, we'll see you again real soon.